A strange sight in the sky last night over Oahu caught the attention of many people. And it's not just fireworks lighting up the sky in West Oahu. Perplexed residents on the Leeward Coast are searching for answers. As the clock counts down the last hours of 2020 here, some countries have already ushered in the new year. New at 10, a mystery in Mesa. At least one neighborhood worried the loud bangs they've been hearing for weeks. Maybe more than just fireworks and celebration. Elk Grove police say it's just one example of loud booms people have been reporting for weeks. A lot of us are going to be extremely happy to say goodbye to the year that was 2020. That includes these guys. Take a look at this. U.S. robot developers Boston Dynamics posted this new video online demonstrating its Atlas Spot and Handle robots dancing in sync to the song Do You Love Me by The Contours. The coordinated wired protégés dance floor display came with a New Year message. Our whole crew got together to celebrate the start of what we hope will be a happier year. Something is in the sky. What is that? Perplexed residents on the Leeward Coast searching for answers after a lit up unidentified flying object reportedly plunged into the ocean near Ulehava Beach Park. There are multiple videos of what appears to be a glowing oblong mass, both in the sky and then in the water. Definitely really unusual to see. Um, so they, they were super bright. Um, I, I guess I couldn't really um, get the, the full gist of it with my camera since it was so far away, but it was really, really bright. Officials from the Federal Aviation Administration say there were no aircraft incidents or accidents in this area Tuesday night, but multiple witnesses report seeing a large blue object fall out of the sky and into the ocean. The 38-year-old says she's never really been a believer in UFOs, but the bright blue object had them so intrigued, they jumped in the car and started following it. I don't know what it was. This one was going so fast. The journey ended less than three miles from where it began on Farrington Highway in front of the Board of Water Supply building after the object appeared to drop into the ocean. On a f***ing line in the water, whatever it is. She described it as being larger than a telephone pole and says she never heard it make any sound. While officers were on scene, she says they spotted a second light. My husband went and looked up and he seen the white one come. The white one was smaller, was coming in the same direction as the blue one. They lost sight of the object after it passed over a nearby mountain. This morning, we asked Honolulu police if investigators figured out what fell in the water. A spokesperson told us they didn't have any information. Meanwhile, officials from the FAA said they received a report from police Tuesday night about a possible plane down in the area, but had no aircraft disappear off radars and no reports of overdue or missing aircraft. Well, that's like a UFO bar. Although Mariah's had a couple days to think about it, she says she's still baffled by what she saw. I'm not an expert on these things, but it sure was scary. In this East Mesa neighborhood, word travels fast. Everybody seems to be saying, I don't know where it's coming from. Nobody can solve it. All's calm outside usually, but when the sun goes down, the blasts begin. It was scary big. <laughs> it was not your normal firework kind of boom or just a noise from a car or something. It was a lot louder and scary. Amy Reed caught this flash of light in what sounded like an explosion on her home security camera last week. The boom shook her entire home. I thought I would just see somebody's house had blown up. You know, I was expecting I'd see fire in the sky or even after neighbors like Reed say they've been reporting this almost every night. They um, said they've definitely been getting all the calls from our area for all these different nights and several of them each night. And they said, we'll go check it out, but mostly there's not a lot we can do. But if that one happens again, that's going to be something else. You know, that's a whole different story. Mysterious explosions in Elk Grove. The blasts caught on camera that have police officers baffled. And that's where we begin at five loud explosions, shaking, rattling, and rocking neighbors in Elk Grove. Good evening. Thanks for joining us at five. I'm Curtis Ming.
And I'm Elizabeth Kling. For weeks, police have been getting reports of these loud explosions. This mysterious exploding sound is sending shockwaves throughout this Elk Grove neighborhood. Just heard all of a sudden this loud boom. Nate Sanchez says he felt vibrations. I feel like the reason we woke up was more because we felt a little bit of a shaking than anything else. For several weeks, random loud booms have been rattling different Elk Grove neighborhoods. Chris Carpenter says it's not the first time she's heard the alarming explosive sounds. Just random, just every once in a while. Well, this is alarming and it's a mystery. At this point, what's the best guess at what's causing these blasts? Well, right now, because it's such a mystery and these reports are pretty sporadic, although most of them on the southeast side of town, right now it's still unknown what these random blasts are. Kilauea volcano in Hawaii. Look at this. This eruption started with an earthquake on Sunday on the volcano's south side. It's the worst eruption since 2018. It shows lava erupting from a fissure on the left side of your screen and a, a lava to the right of it, a lava nado that is over the right of it, over that lava lake. Is a rapidly evolving situation. A giant plume of steam and ash could be seen rising from the glowing orange crater. People who lived downwind being warned to stay inside to avoid the ash and to be prepared to leave. There have been no early reports of injury. Croatia's most powerful earthquake in more than a century has resulted in the death of seven people. For a second straight day, central Croatia rocked by a powerful earthquake. Just on Monday, there was a, another earthquake, which also uh, had its epicenter near the town of Petri. And an emergency begins. In generation. Hundreds of kilometers away, MPs in neighboring Slovenia also felt the force of the quake. Several smaller aftershocks were felt across the Balkans, as far away as Hungary. The epicenter of the earthquake was around 50 kilometers southeast of the Croatian capital of Zagreb. The force could be felt right across the country. Unfortunately, the way the year started, it kind of ends the same way. People in the capital Zagreb can sympathize. They still haven't finished reconstruction after an earthquake in March, and this latest tremor caused power cuts and further damage to buildings. Quietly for a lot of us, San Francisco and Marin feeling this 3.6 earthquake this morning. And Darren, you have been tracking some of it. We're hearing that this was on the San Andreas Fault. What can you tell us? Well, that map that we just showed right off the top here a minute ago, you saw that straight red line running through it? That was the San Andreas. So in one sense, we could think of this as very good news because a 3.6 is minor. And a 3.6 means it relieved a little bit of pressure on on the San Andreas Fault. And just to kind of put it in perspective, that sits just about six and a half to seven miles exactly due west of the Golden Gate Bridge. So it was like if you were sailing out under the Golden Gate Bridge, about five to six miles out there, it's like directly south of Muir Beach. That's where the epicenter was. The San Andreas Fault runs right underneath that part of the Pacific Ocean. Look at all the areas shaded in here, whether it's in the city, the peninsula, Marin, even some in the East Bay here reported that they did feel this light. There was an earthquake not far off the coast from Coos Bay, so so a lot happening in your uh, weather, you know, department and, and land department as in, well. In the weather world, yes. In the weather world. An earthquake offshore last night. There is no threat for a tsunami, which is good to see. You know, uh, it, it would only be fitting for 2020 if we did see a threat for that, but there is none. Uh, the, the earthquake was around 11 p.m. last night offshore from Coos Bay. It was a magnitude 5.7, which is a moderately strong earthquake here. And if you remember back to 1980, the uh, Mount St. Helens eruption was ultimately triggered by an earthquake that then triggered a landslide and caused that volcano to erupt.
people who have been injured, one critically in a landslide that buried houses in the Norwegian village of Yerdrun, northeast of the capital Oslo. You can see the enormous crater that appeared in the early hours of Wednesday. Around 700 people have been evacuated from the area. And can you help us to understand, is this an area that is prone to this? Is it because of the particularly cold weather? What's, what's the thinking behind why this has happened? Uh, this is an area that has uh, uh, an, an unstable um, ground uh, with a lot of um, uh, this kind of, of, uh, of mud that uh, can be put into motion uh, in, uh, with a lot of, uh, of rain. Uh, uh, but it hasn't happened before in this scale, not, uh, not at all. Storm Bella making her presence known on British shores. Winds of up to 106 miles an hour had been recorded on the Isle of Wight overnight. Bringing down trees, causing damage to cars and homes and huts alongside Brighton beachfront. Train operators have issued warnings about delays and cancellations because of debris and flooding on the railway lines. But parts of the UK are still reeling from heavy rains over Christmas, like Sirencester in Gloucestershire. Residents trying to adapt. Storm Bella did not bring dramatic destruction, but its impact has been widespread. For those affected, it's a miserable end to a festive season where spirits had already been dampened. Argentina's Senate has voted to legalize abortion in a landmark ruling that could have repercussions across Latin America. The vote followed hours of debate and decades of campaigning by women's rights groups in the predominantly Catholic country.